on March 9th, 1997, an amazing man by the name of Christopher Wallace, also known as Notorious B.I.G., was killed at this very spot here in Los Angeles, California, in front of the Peterson Museum on the corner of Wilshire and Fairfax. 16 years later, I invited a couple of my friends to help celebrate the life of an amazing artist and ask how he's influenced hip-hop culture today. You and me taking flicks, making hit stages, they receive you on. Still can't believe you're going to give anything to hear happen. What were you doing in 1997? How old were you? I was three years old. Three? Uh, I was probably, you know, using a diaper. In 97, I was five turning six. Why are you over here to celebrate the life of Biggie? Because he's amazing. He's a legend. He's somebody that we need to celebrate. He was a poet. He set a path for so many people who are out there right now. So, I mean, 16 years is a long time. And to be in the area that he actually got shot, like, it's kind of thrilling. How do you feel being at the exact same spot where he passed away? It's crazy. It's really crazy when you think about it. Like, it shit was right there. Oh, I see you brought some friends with you. Why do you think it's important to celebrate the life of Biggie? I think, you know, it has a lot to do with, I guess, Los Angeles culture. I mean, it's a great contribution to the hip hop culture, which I think is, an even bigger part of, you know, what I represent as, you know, who I am as a person. So why do you think it's important to celebrate the life of Biggie? Because you gotta always remember him. Nowadays it's like, rap's all the same. It's all some mixtapes, some weak ass shit. You gotta remember the legends. He actually paved the way for a lot of artists, not just on the East Coast, but worldwide. He showed them that you can come from a hustler to a very entrepreneur artist, to so somebody who can come from hard times and really make a difference in life, you feel me? Somebody who actually is a lyrical poet and who actually takes real situations and turns them into music so that way everybody can relate and get the vibe off of certain situations and actually real life, you know what I'm saying, predicaments. Do you think the whole East Coast, West Coast thing is still present in today? No, everyone, you know, is chill with everyone nowadays. Um, I mean, I guess that could be a good thing and a bad thing, but Biggie and the Tupac and the West Coast thing, that was, you know, more of a, more of a misguided beef, I think. What's your favorite Biggie song? The what? When I die, the fuck it, I wanna go to hell, cause I'm a piece of shit, it ain't hard to fucking tell. Like, damn, nigga, like, really? That's how you feel about yourself, my nigga? Like, What's your favorite Biggie song? <sighs> I don't know, I might have to say Big Papa. Love it when you call me Big Papa. Oh, throw your hands in the air if you's a true player. I, I see, see some ladies tonight that should be having my baby. Baby! <laughs> Rest in peace, Biggie. R.I.P. Biggie Smalls from the West Coast all the way back to the East. One love, West West. Rest in peace, Biggie. Rest in peace, Biggie, from the West Coast. Rest in peace, Biggie. Rest in peace, Biggie, from the West Side with love. We miss you. TheUberUrban.com. Rock the show, I lace the track, you lock the flow. So far from hanging on the block of dough. Notorious, they got to know that life ain't.